What's up, everybody? This is Easy, Easy Street Gaming. Got the Hog Rider event going on, so we gotta do like 25 Hog Rider attacks. I'm sure everyone's been using them. Gotta use at least 10. Got some replays from a couple. I think one Town Hall 9, a couple Town Hall 11s. Been able to use the Hog Riders in Town Hall 9, 10, and 11 because of the changes with the Inferno Towers. We're able to use the heal spell over the Infernos, so they don't take out the Hog Riders anymore. So it's real. The vitality of the troop has really been increased with the uh, changes to the Inferno Tower, which uh, I, I guess plays right into the the goal of the game was to make it a little easier to attack. Mission accomplished. Uh, got a couple things to go over with Town Hall 10 and 11. It's just a process that that I've been using that that you know you kind of start off the attacks the same way every time, and you'll start to see the same type of results. It's 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 common just like with anything else if you do the same thing over and over you can expect to have more consistent results by by just by repeating the same process so with the town hall nines you, this is like an overpowering of, of hog riders you know i think i bring 14 or 15 in the army composition and then i bring the clan castle full of maxed hog riders and I, i'm not even really waiting for the defenses to get distracted by the by the main troops uh, I'm pretty much just overpowering the defenses. I bring three heal spells, one rage, and just plow right through them. And uh, I could I could show you about 15 replays of, of three stars with the, a town hall nine. It's, it's really just it's pretty simple to over overpower the town hall nines. Uh, now, granted, these are farming attacks, and a lot of them don't have clan castle troops. If you end up with the clan castle full of wizards. They, even though I bring two poison spells, they can they can really smash your uh, the hog riders pretty quick. But now at Town Hall 11, it's a lot different. So at Town Hall 11, what I've been doing is I'll bring I'll start off with the, with the Queen Walk, which is very common for most Town Hall 11s. So I'll use the the Warden and the Queen for four healers, and then I'll wait for the Queen to take some damage to the point where I need to use the first rage spell. You, you use rage spells to rage up the queen, warden, healer combination and that just boosts the queen's health back up to full and you don't have to use her ability and you don't have to use the warden's ability. Well as soon as I use the rage spell then I'll bring uh, four or five um, wall breakers, break through the outer wall, that's when I'll drop the, the king. So now you have the, the, the wall breakers that blast through the outer wall, you have the king that's in play. I bring a couple of wizards just to help with any kind of uh, if they have clan castle troops or if they have some airborne traps, I want to help with that. And then I step, then I bring the miners in. I use 20 miners. And uh, where you'll make a pretty big dent in the defenses with the queen and the warden and the king, uh, I'll bring, I'll send the miners in that exact spot. So I'm just reinforcing the spot that I've already kind of hit with the, the first troops. And then I will reinforce the miners with the hog riders. So it's not this big split up um, multi. Um, angled attack it's just really one big spammy kind of attack from one angle and then I, the the advantage for that is that you can use all of your spells and you're pretty much covering most of the troops with all the spells and um, there's two different ways that these attacks usually go down uh, the first way is if they have their air defenses in a uh, laid out in a way that they take out the healers then you have to be much more careful with your spells but if the healers live even even once the miners and the hog riders die out, then you still have the queen and the warden left usually, and they'll take out the rest of the base. So I'm, I've been getting a lot of three stars with this attack. Uh, now, as far as the impact with Dark Elixir, if you're still on the hunt for Dark Elixir, uh, I usually use ten hog riders. Now, granted, now we're in the event. I think they cost seven or ten or whatever it is. They're real low as far as the cost. But even normally, um, when they're full full cost. It's, I'm, I'm using about a thousand Dark Elixir, so it's really not that impactful to the Dark Elixir, and you know, I'm, I'm up in Titan, so just my, just for winning the attack, I'm getting a couple thousand Dark Elixir, which is more than covers what I spend, and most bases that I attack will have two to three thousand Dark Elixir on it, or more. 
Now, granted, uh, in Titan League, you also are focused on the on the cups, on the trophy count. So I'll attack like right here. I dip down to a Town Hall ten, and the reason is is because of the amount of trophies they offered. I don't think they even show it in the replays, but it was like twenty something trophies, or maybe fifteen trophies, whatever it was. It was it was unusually high because they I'm I'm at Titan two, and this is a Champion one. And so I didn't know why they I was offered so many trophies. It's unusual to me. Anyway, same process with this attack. Um, although this was a little different troop composition, this is an attack that my clan called the Flex. It's very similar to the Slap, where you'll start off with two different walks. Uh, one would be the Queen Warden walk, one would be the Bowler walk. You'll start off in two different corners to start to create the funnel. And uh, by, by starting off in two different corners and kind of hesitating with the middle troops for, for just a few seconds, wait till you clear out the two corners, then you drop like, I think it has the uh, Giants, Wizards, Valkyries. Uh, that, that's the kind of bulk of the middle of the, of the attack. And um, as, as those troops make it around the outside with the, with the healers on them, you have the two walks making around, like in this case it was the top uh, left and the bottom right. Uh, you have the, the bulk of these heavier troops busting through the middle of it and a really effective attack at Town Hall 11 this was a this now this base right here was pretty tricky um, this play right here used uh, it's kind of an old trick they, they leave all of the tombstones on their base which um, at first glance will make you think it's a dead base especially with how how much loot was available for it it was like 600,000 elixir about 500,000 gold and over 6,000 dark elixir so that's that's kind of got the indications of a dead base but it wasn't um, but started off the same way started off with the queen walk we came in the corner with the queen walk as soon as the queen took some damage we used the rage spell on him that boosted the queen back up to full health then we used the the I think three or four wall breakers to break through that corner once we broke through the corner you add the king into, into play a couple wizards into play and then you start um, dropping your hog riders and your miners. Been using hog riders and miners at Town Hall 11. It's been extremely effective, not only for the cost, which is a very low impactful cost for Dark Elixir, but they've actually done really well. Um, the spell, the spell composition I've been using. Um, now, in this, I think in this attack here, I also used, um, I also used the Valkyries. Uh, Valkyries are primarily just to jump into the core and take out the core. And uh, that, that's kind of what I count on for, for them. I don't really rely on them much more than that. And and really, they, they are. If you can jump them into the core and put a rage on them, even under the, the even under Infernal Tower, um, even under the attack of, of two Infernal Towers, they'll still take out the whole core. They're 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 pretty hefty troops, and they just they, you know they attack multiple buildings at one time. Now, granted, they can outrun any kind of support troops you have for them. We all know that if you ha if you have Gollum in there with them, they outrun them, <laughs> and uh, you can't really keep healers on them because the healers will end up uh, and they'll end up on the Gollums if you have Gollums with the Valkyries. But you have the Valkyries in the core, and then you have the support of the Hog Riders. In this case, it was I mean these are, that's a really big one-two punch now once again. Uh, it reminded me of being at, back in Town Hall 9. Back in Town Hall 9, we used the Go Vape, where you'd use uh, Gollum, Pekka, and Valkyries. And then a lot of people would su substitute Hog Riders for Pekka. And uh, that was a really popular attack, really potent attack for a long time. Well, you can do those types of attacks now in Town Hall 11 because of the, the state of the Inferno Towers. So, kind of quick video. Just wanted to kind of update everyone on the Hog Riders. This is something that everyone should be using. I, I, I really think, you know, Hog Riders and Balloons are your two major three-star troops. I know everyone loves the Bowlers now, but uh, believe me when I say that there is still a lot of value using Hog Riders. And uh, it's not just in Town Hall 9 anymore. Town Hall 9, 10, and 11, they're very valuable. So check it out yourself. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until uh, next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.